I got mail again. And it's Royal Mail. Woohoo! From Glasgow. That can mean only a few things. But one of them is Grass Cutter Palmer. I love this sticker, Tim. This is awesome. Thank you so much. It's going on my sticker wall tonight. Take care, all. Hey, everyone. Today, I'm going to take apart this Yamaha. Uh, it says Cinema, Cinema DSP. And it's um, just digital receiver stuff. It's got scene. I don't know what all it does, but it, HDMI. It's something to do with the home theater. So, shall we get started? Take the outer shell off. Echoes. Yeah, I've probably forgotten one. say taking out screws is one of my favorite things to do because it's satisfying it's done in just a couple minutes especially with this impact driver One more. 
Actually, I think I tried to find that one out earlier. All right. Okay, let's see if I can get this into frame a little bit better. Let me cut the cord off. Get that off in a minute. Come here, magnet. hope that you can see that. Well, I told you it probably had a big transformer when I... Transformers more than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. You're fine. What in the world did they do here? Interesting. It's like they used wire to um, twist tie the things. Very strange. I'll have to check that out. Huh. Never seen that before. I don't see copper in there, but. Oh, I hope I don't. This table is not very stable. And I just rhymed. Oh, dear. Um, so, I hope I don't topple you over. Out of there. And, and, um. Um. board with some capacitors on it and a couple of chips. Um, not that, what is that? Flat pack VGA? I don't know. Can't remember. All those things. Looks like a bunch of MLCC. Anyway. I don't remember all the names of everything. And I don't find boards often enough to from PCs and stuff to actually study them and so I'm gonna have to get just a parts list and pictures and stuff and just start studying them. <sighs> hey there's another twist tie. Daily bobber. Weird. It's hard to get things out. Fine, just come out that way. It's fine, I guess. That's good. Yeah, is he screwed on? Probably. 
trying to get the wires out of here so we can see what's going on. This one has the switches or whatever, so you can put speaker wire in there, I guess. Must be something in there. We'll check that out in a second. bunch of rainbow wire there. Well, almost rainbow wire. copper wire that is so weird they used copper wire to uh, twist tie the wires down that is hilarious I have never seen that I mean it's ingenious but because <laughs> the wire those wires are better than any zip ties and hey bonus copper of it out of there. A few little things. So, more screws, people. See you in a second. Okay, I'm going to stop there for a second and show you a couple things. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's heavy. That's probably 10 pounds with the steel on it. Whew. Pound of copper. That's what I love about stereo receivers and stuff. They've got a lot of copper and a lot of aluminum in them. Alright, a little board here. Very dusty. Go get that fuse out of there. I'm collecting fuses. I've got a bunch of them out in the little tub out there. Oh, don't break it. An M&M &M there. Blue M&M. &M. Another little transformer. Very nice. Okay. Now I gotta do this screw here. 
too. Sorry, boy. Boys and girls. That was loud. Okay. I have no idea why they would have this board except to attach everything. This is where the copper wire was soldered on to use as twist ties. <laughs> so I guess they're using a piece of board to absolutely no reason whatsoever except to use it as a bridge. Okay, there's another little board here that is the on and off switch. Well, there you go, on and off switch right there, button. Nice. Little sensory object to fidget with. Piece of plastic. What else is there here? Hmm. This is the audio jack if you want to use your headphone. Sorry about the noise. Steel screws into plastic just sometimes. Ugh. Hmm. Hope I didn't knock you over there. Knock you out of frame. I don't know exactly how to get that out. anything to do with it. Flathead hair. <laughs> Jack, don't start barking, please. Jack. Well, the household noises aren't distracting you. You're doing laundry at the moment and a bunch of other things. Oh, come on. This jack will be um, brass. Can't see it there. another screw and I didn't see it because it was hiding in that little tiny crevice. So I busted it. I don't know if I'm going to get it out. Yeah. This dust is starting to make my nose run. So yeah, here's the jack board and there's a little piece of brass inside there that I can crush out and there'll be copper in the switch and stuff. The resistors. I don't know what those are. They look like copper coils. I don't know. Attachment came off, and that attachment came off. Yeah, some MOSFET, I think. Alright. Yeah, 
there's a bunch of moss fat. These are moss fats. For those of you who don't know, but most of you probably do that are watching. But just in case. Oof, look at this dust. I'll have to do some serious blowing it out. Okay. Get that off of there. Let's do these. It's a very awkward position there. I'm seeing some copper. And of course, lots of brass on all these jacks in the back. in the mid 90s again today and 90% humidity feels like an air. Went to the yard this morning and got paid for a few things. Washer dryer, a grill, so that was nice. Nice 37 bucks or whatever it was, I can't remember. Okay. Giant connectors. I don't know. They're not MOSFETs. They're huge. Are they MOSFETs? Somebody else who knows? They got lots of thermal paste on them, which is... Ugh. I don't know here. I don't have to turn it over to get the aluminum heat sink out. I think anyway, I can't, oh, these feet have screws in them too. So that might be holding something down. These are pretty cool. I might keep these for some art project. I really need to figure out what I'm gonna do with my art stuff that I wanted to do. I collect, I think I told you I collected all these shells for years. And I don't do as much anymore because I have a bazillion shells, but um, I wanted to do some kind of art with them. I had plenty of ideas, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it. And then scrapping has made me think, hmm, I think the idea has actually come into full blown. I can figure out something now. Get the front panel off there, maybe. Nope, gotta screw down here to take off. Mm. Can I just pop this one off? Here's a screw. You can see it. That's pretty usual. There we go. Okay. All right. Here's the main control board. Um. Is that a BGA? Yes. 
BGA I C's flat pack lots of fun stuff on here uh, for tip wise this looks like a bazillion MLCC's back here oh my gosh look at all those teeny tiny things you can hardly see them without a microscope I mean a magnifying glass and there's my crystal oscillators two of them nice Oh, and a little brass, if you want to take that off. I'm probably not going to. Uh, I'm probably going to sell this board uh, as is. Take the crystals off, and that's it. Okay, let's see what we got here. At least they're all... Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Phillips. They're all Phillips heads. Very nice. Okay. Let's just trim this wire off. Yeah, it was a very damp summer that we've had we've my tools are getting very um corroded i'm gonna have to work on that get that figured out ah paste help nasty gross paste all over my fingers now let's see Set this aside for one second. Let's see if we can get this front panel off here. Okay, I think all of the screws are out of here. And all the buttons are stuck. That's the <laughs> all those buttons are stuck. There's the jacks for something. But look, they're gold. That's fun. Alright. Those go in a special place. I won't be putting that in any cell pile. Okay. Let's get all of those screws off of there. And let's see what we're going to do here. Buttons, 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 buttons. Ah, oh, what is going on here? Hmm. The tuner button is really stuck there. Thinking I've forgotten a screw, but I don't think so. Mm. Soldered on. Weird. Oh, 
there is a screw. Hello. Why did I? They're very just. They're very adept at disguising themselves. But yeah, this is totally soldered on. That's weird. No screw there. This board has a VGA. There's the screen. LED or whatever. It's not LED. It's the liquid stuff. Um, but yeah, lots of buttons. History Aside by Tinkering Twins and Their Mom. Liquid crystal displays uh, were invented about 53 years ago <clears throat> in May 1968 by electrical engineer George Heilmeyer. This ubiquitous technology is seen on computers, alarm clocks, telephones, and many other electronic screens, including the microwave. He was working for RCA when his team of scientists figured out how to manipulate tiny liquid crystals mounted between thin layers of glass. Heilmeyer died in 2014 at the age of 77. Wow, this was the amazing little uh, thing that I found out just because I was thinking about that screen that I took out of the transformer. I know I used a shark vocabulary. Thanks, Sharky, for putting us onto that word. It's a great word. Oh, that's a button. It switches. Tuner switch still works just like it did without me breaking it. That's weird. <laughs> Thought that would have broken right off. Alright, so there's a piece of steel frame. Whoa, buttons. Plastic stuff. You down here and I'll take you out a little bit. So yeah, this summer I have been taking apart a ton of small electronics. I haven't done videos. I've just kind of gotten on a roll and done it. So it's been very fun and kind of neat to go through a whole bunch of stuff. of here. Huh. It appears to be and I gotta get the heat sink. Sorry about that. I don't have a long thing of, I thought I ordered some, but maybe I just put them on my shopping list. Alright, 
So here's the power board and a couple things going on here. I don't know what that is. It's an odd shape for an IC and it's not quite a square for BGA. So I don't know. Some MLCCs back here, I think. Maybe not. I can't tell. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of soldering things for the stuff on this side. But the brass, again, if you'd like to take that off, there's more um, wiring things, relays. You could see if things, something's under there. Most of the time when I take apart stuff like this, it winds up being not has resin in it, so I can't get to it. Alright, well, come on, screw. Get out of there. There you go. Steel. I go over here. Go away. Copper coils I'll be taking. Ugh. And another tiny aluminum heatsink. De la resistance. De la resistance. Um, this is what I would hope would be aluminum. Let's see. Check it out. Get some of these off of there so I can really tell okay okay we got some steel end pieces that I need to get off but look at that chunky okay sorry you see the steel end things I gotta get off but nice chunky aluminum heat sink love it love it love it I haven't had a stereo receiver in a while, so it's nice to see and have. This is welded on there, or riveted on there. So I'll have to pry that off. Anyway. Thanks guys for coming along on this little journey with me doing heat uh, stereo receiver for a home theater system. Let's see what we got. So we've got several boards, a bunch would have been nice like a wire and. We've got a beautiful heat sink, one little one, and a couple transformers. There's a gigantic one here, and a little one on the other little tiny power board over there. Oh, all right. Well, thank you again. And remember to like, share, and please subscribe. Please come along with me on my journey as I uh, learn how to scrap and how I am figuring out how to be a mom to older teenage twins. Those crazy guys, they're off doing the robotics thing again today. This is day after day. Next week is the competition, so I will have some video for you. So until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.